hey hi guys uh, so today i just came up with some good interesting things so actually i built a application and then i you know deployed in a, uh online so i just want to how i use you know this aws lambda and all this stuff so basically our application name is magic of math and we are using here aws amplify the api gateway and the lambda and then dynamo db well uh this we are you know hosted our application in Am amplify which is using basically using front end department so what here we do is like we write uh, uh you know index html in machine and then we are uploading the amplify and then using api gateway we write a code in lambda we do some transformation in you know using math library and we loaded the data in the dynamic db database right this is our simple you know magic of maths uh, application let's just start so first uh, uh, you know this is the uh, amplify pws amplify you can see here i created the magic of math well this task is just you know i run kamala uh, minute before so that's why i want to show you and here i you know upload the index html zip file which is contained i'll show you what is it contains you know these uh, you know uh, html code i simple html code i write it in that uh so it it contains simple pages and uh, you know api link now uh, uh after the uh you know deploying the packages what i did is like you know i create the lambda function well this lambda is uh, triggered with api gateway so suppose someone is you know giving the input so, so as soon as you know so it tickled uh, it triggered the api gateway and api triggered uh, to lambda which is magic of math i give it the name of magic of math right so i, I just quick you know give a tour of the what the code is you know look like so basically here i input json math library and bot 23 bot 23 is for you know bot 23 is for you know uh, generating the client and you know, loaded the data in dynamo db we are you know loaded the result in the dynamo db so yes for that you see about to three dynamo db client here and here is my table name magic of dynamo db and uh, basically here you are time uh, import the time function because it's also you know uh, load the time when that uh, process has happened and in this uh, thing uh, basically id is our partition key in the dynamo db so yeah and then uh, uh, this kind this math result is you know like suppose 2 raised to 2 means uh, it's 4 right so it's kind of uh, math function is you know uh, doing the process so one thing like when you create the lambda function i just want to you know show key you have to be careful with the im policy because if you don't care with that thing then it will not uh, you know give permission to you know do the thing in lambda in uh, dynamo db so i'll show you what i gave here is uh, uh i'll give a full access of the dynamo db you can give a custom access but here i gave the full access of dynamo db let me show you the dynamo db table uh this is magic uh, i give the magic of dynamo db yeah it's indeed magic of dynamo db uh, so here you can see uh, you know partition key is I id and this is general information and this is some matrix uh, it's showing the you know some results and this is the explore item a this is you know, basically input which you do in the front end side so this is like a come up minute before i did the task which is showing this is saturday 22 april um so yeah this is like you know our back end part database part right uh let me just uh you know uh this is api gateway mm -hmm. triggered so let me just show you the api gateway uh so 
yes so this is api gateway uh, created using a post uh, you know action so yes so like uh, be, be, like when you create you have to test the api whether it is working or not so yeah like let's just say you know uh, test the api whether it is working or not here let us uh, i'll take uh, is a, as a true right and then uh, the the exponent exponent uh, i'll take uh, let us three right that means two raised to three is eight so it, it should give the result so and then let us taste and yeah that's it it is working your result is a two raised to three that means our API is working uh and second thing when you when you just done with the lambda code you have to taste uh, with the code right so uh, in the test uh, function uh, you have to uh, give you know configuration the, you have to configure the event when testing here i take uh, two right so let's just take a three and then we we'll test the lambda function is the code is working or not so if i save and then test the function yeah it is working which you give you know uh three raised to three that means 27 uh, so yeah the code is fine the api is working fine now um uh, we we checked also dynamo db which is working fine let's just back to you know our diagram how it's you see so we check the P amplify which we create the uh, you know we deploy the packages second thing which create the api we tested the api which is working fine uh, the lambda code we write it uh, you know import the, all the libraries and then boot to three and then yeah, uh, doing the math uh, function which is working fine uh, we show the i am policy which i give the assist of the dynamo db full assist you can give customer says you know put the create the record and then we check the dynamo db table which is partitioned by partition key is the id right so uh like let's just check our main application how it's look like right so if we go to our uh, amplify and then here it's give the domain link right if we click on that so yeah this is how it look like the my application it's said to the power of math and this is simple way page to all of you to calculate the result of the number of raised to power using api call now let's just do some funny things here uh, uh, let's just uh, you know create something like base power uh, uh, like you know two raised to four right I just calculate so yeah so that's uh, you see the API give the the result so 16 right that is great thing let's just check another thing fire is to fire is to 3 that means 125 and then yeah hold on we are done we went to 125 which is great now we check our dynamo db right so yes this is great dynamo db stored the, all the uh, value which we are perform in the our front end side right this is cool now you see the 531 which is we just now we do the process which output gives a 125 let's just do a big fun big uh, process you know like five is to five and we are 3125 which is great and let's just do some 
10 raised or uh, 2 raised to 10 right which is giving 10 24 which is amazing so yeah this is guys you know like simple uh, application which is using amplify lambda dynamo db and which is you know creating uh deploying in the online and actually i like the serverless because serverless don't count don't cost that much you know so especially uh dynamo db and lambda i move towards the lambda so I, I like the lambda to working on so this is the function and this is the whole uh, thing i created and i just want to you know show you so thank you so much for watching and if you have any query and uh, doubt please let me know and comment down below so yeah thank you so much have a good day